All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I wanna have a quick discussion about this year's Halloween campaign on Global, and the fact that some people seem to be a little bit disappointed by it, seem to have, you know, expressed some negative feelings towards it. And I wanna make the argument that this is actually a pretty solid celebration, man. It's possibly one of the better ones we've had in a while. So without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, the place we're gonna start here is with this banner, okay? The Halloween Dokkan Festival. And I feel like most of the people that are upset with the celebration have focused on this banner and the fact that there is not a new summonable unit on Global this year, right? Uh, JP got the LR Turles. They're getting the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta probably in a week and a half or so. And Global hasn't had a new summonable unit in roughly, I'm not sure how long actually, like three weeks or so since the uh, tech transforming Gohan. We got the double rates banner with no new unit. And then we have this one now with, once again, not a new unit. But the thing is, I'm actually, well, obviously, first of all, when I, when I first saw the banner, I was a little bit surprised because I was expecting, like a lot of people, there to be a new unit. But when I actually look through, the summonable units here, I wasn't really that upset, okay? Because this banner is actually a really good banner, okay? It features seven units. They're all Dokkan Festival exclusive units. And these are seven of the best TURs in the game. I'm not gonna say that like they're all in the top 10 or anything like that, but they're all up there, especially Cooler, Bardock, Super Saiyan Blue, Kalkin Goku is awesome too. This guy, uh, Android 13, very underrated in my opinion. This dude's still a, still a beast. And this guy, this transforming Vegeta, even though I hate seeing his face now. Okay, he's been featured way too many times. So his inclusion here is definitely not welcome to me or a lot of people. But that being said, still a very good unit. And uh, overall, the value for this banner, I've already talked about this, but if you guys missed the last video, um, the value on this banner is quite insane. It's one of the best normal Dokkan Festival banners we've ever seen, right? Not including anniversaries, not including download celebrations. As far as a normal Dokkan Fest is concerned, as far as a normal celebration banner is concerned, this is one of the best ones we've seen. And even for people like me, who I've been playing for a long time, who spent a good amount of money on this game. We're not talking about like the Mega Whales, like Truth or anything like that. For those guys, obviously no value here, but if we're talking about like somebody like me who spends a good amount of money, not a huge whale, but definitely has uh, spent in the thousands or 10,000 plus, maybe 20K, I don't really know. Let's not get into that. But uh, there's still value here because a lot of these units are quite new, right? Most of them are uh, were released within the last year or so. And on top of that, uh, we also got a discount, right? 40 stones for the first for the first multi versus 50. And also, they gave us tickets through missions. So I think right now, in part one, we can get up to four tickets, I believe. And then in part two, we can, we can get the rest of the tickets. So overall, we're getting close to a multi worth of free summons on this banner as well. I've seen a lot of people doing singles with the tickets and pulling, you know, featured units like Bardock or Namek Goku, or Cooler, so on and so forth. So yeah, even though this banner does not have a new unit, I'm honestly okay with the trade-off of like a really, really good Dokkan Festival banner with no new unit versus maybe a banner with a new unit, but a really trash featured pool overall, or just a really mediocre featured pool. And for newer players, right, if you guys are missing like three, four, five of these units, then the value here is actually amazing, especially because the uh, Int Future Gohan hasn't come back since his initial banner nine months ago. So him coming back, I was, I was making a joke about this, but it's almost kind of serious at the same time. Him coming back is almost like a new unit because many people didn't really seriously summon for him the first time around. Most people I knew didn't have him, so that's also a thing. But uh, yeah, guys, I just think the whole no new unit thing is a little bit overblown. I think that um, honestly, like new summonable units and new banners don't necessarily make a good celebration. So even if we got like a really hype unit release here and the rest of the celebration was bad, like there were no good events, no new events, then I think it still would have been a bad celebration. But this banner doesn't bother me as much as it does 
some other people. Okay, so moving on from there, we had a Pilaf's Trove pack. I know people don't like Pilaf's Trove, but the deal here was actually very good. Okay, it was seven tickets for a multi or a seven unit multi with a guaranteed SSR and a bunch of other stuff like some training items, character slots, keys, all that good stuff. And it was like six bucks, seven bucks US. For me, it was like 10 bucks because I live in Canada. Our exchange rate sucks, but um, still, I, I bought that. I felt really good about it because I was just like, this is a great deal. If you're gonna if you're gonna spend money on stones anyways, then they actually made this one very reasonably priced. So I did not mind that either. And then we have the Elder Kai banner. Okay, so new story event. Just like the last couple of years, we got a new free-to-play Halloween unit. Very solid, very good unit, by the way. If you guys missed my showcase from yesterday, feel free to go check it out. And then we got a new Extreme Z area with Extreme Z Awakenings for not one, but two free-to-play units, the Go Tanks and Ghost, as well as the Candy Vegito, both very good Extreme Z Awakenings too. And uh, the grind actually takes a while because you gotta get the extra copies for the Ghost Tanks and the Vegito, and then you gotta build your team. And then uh, there's actually a bit of a challenge with the stages too. It's not too bad, not too hard, but a little bit of a challenge. So I know for some people that might take a while to figure out too. And uh, yeah, good event. I think, look, I know people don't like Extreme Z areas, but I think at this point, we gotta accept that there's gonna be a thing. Like I seriously believe that if we didn't have Extreme Z areas as a mode, then we would see a lot less uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for free to play units. So um, yeah, I I'm okay with them. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions, but two easy A's nonetheless, really solid. And then we have some Dokkan events coming back, of course, for the featured units on the, uh, on the banner and then all of the halloween slash april fools story events with their respective free to play units coming back for the celebration for anybody that missed them the first time around now you can farm the you know retro goku and vegeta the ghost tanks the candy of vegeto and the kids hey man from last year as well as the april fools bulma and then we got times two exp for quest stages not the best honestly but it is something it'll still allow people who are very low in rank, like you're like rank 100 or something like that, you can still rank up pretty fast with double rank EXP. And then we have, finally, a new Extreme Z battle for the first time since the Int Future Trunks, which was, I think, in June? Maybe July. Maybe July. I don't know. It's been many months. That's all I know. So, Super 17, and dude, he is so freaking amazing. Um, I can't wait for this, and I'm so glad actually we got him before the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, because as good as Super Saiyan 3 Broly is, and I do want the EZA eventually, I was looking forward to this so much more, and uh, if you guys want a breakdown of the Extreme Z battle event, as well as uh, the details for him, feel free to check out the video I made earlier today, breaking that all down, okay? And also, five more story events coming back for the 28th, basically part two of this celebration. We got the Universe Survival Saga finale event. We got the Giru story event. And I think this is actually the first time it's come back since the initial release. So if you guys missed him the first time around, then this is your chance to get him done. And then we got the uh, Androids story event and then two Cell Saga story events. And then we have the Genius Bulma prep, which leads us into our next world tournament the 34th global world, world tournament starting on the 29th and we're going to be getting the uh, bojack movie trunks as the uh, rank slash mission reward and then for the new local reward we got the lr team and king piccolo for the first time ever and man i am so stoked for him he is a really good free to play lr um very good tank uh good damage as well actually i've recently learned so uh, yeah, great world tournament. Definitely excited for this one. Definitely gonna be grinding the crap out of it, especially because I'm actually quite low on some orbs. Uh, I think it's AGL and STR specifically. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get in the top like maybe a thousand, maybe a hundred. We'll see how crazy we go, but uh, I definitely need some orbs. So yeah, super excited for this one too. For the first time in a while, excited for a world tournament and uh, you know, your standard world tournament stuff and a couple of these uh, story events from Dragon Ball coming back too. So that is overall the uh, celebration. And like I said in the beginning of this video, we actually have quite a few new things, man. Like quite a few good events. Uh, two big ones, of course, World Tournament, as well as 
the Extreme Z battle for Super 17, but then we got a new Extreme Z area with two new EZAs, new story event for Halloween, and uh, a really, really good Dokkan Festival banner, even though, once again, no new unit, still a very good banner. Okay, so... Um, oh, only thing I would have wished is that we had some be better Dragonstone sales, because they were pretty trash, just like they normally are. It was like 132 stone pack, 391, and that's it, but... Can't really expect too much there, and uh, yeah guys, I mean, let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Are you one of those people that, you know, are still upset because there's no new unit, or is there some other reason you're upset about the celebration, or has this video maybe convinced some of you guys to actually, um, you know, see things a little bit differently? Because in my opinion, as I've always said, I don't think banners or units make a celebration, it's the event at the end of the day that make a celebration, and I think that this campaign has enough, has enough new stuff, has enough new events to actually, to me at least, be considered a very solid campaign. I'm not going to say it's one of the best, I'm not going to say that it's awesome, but it's pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so that is the video guys, that's all I got to say. Uh, once again, I do want to hear your opinions. Um, the whole point of these videos is to have a little discussion amongst ourselves. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys once again for watching today's video. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic day fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.